Well, my name is Michael Sellers, and I was born and raised here in Charleston, South Carolina. And I attended grade school at Nativity Catholic School on James Allen and went to Bishop England as well. And it was in Catholic schools that I really started to form a vocation. Actually, at my first communion, I remember as the priest held up the host, there was something there saying, you're going to do that. And I really didn't know what that meant. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, we gather in this church tonight with great joy. We come with prayers of thanksgiving for the generosity and the call of God to his son, Michael, to enter into holy orders this night and to prepare to continue to the road of priesthood. We come with our prayers for him and with him, and we come to offer God our thanks and praise and petition. But let us take a moment now to recognize our weakness, our sinfulness, and ask the Lord for mercy, compassion, and grace. But it really wasn't until the end of my high school time where something was calling me that I knew I had to give the Lord a chance. So I went through the Citadel for a few years and then decided to attend college seminary. Let us pray. O oh God, who have taught the ministers of your church to seek not to be served, but to serve their brothers and sisters. Grant, we pray, that this, your servant, whom you graciously choose today for the office of deacon, may be effective in action, gentle in ministry, and constant in prayer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. It's been a 17-year journey, and here I am today. Most Reverend Father, Holy Mother Church, ask you to ordain this man, our brother, to the responsibility of the end. Do you know him to be worthy? As your inquiry among the Christian people, upon the recommendation of those responsible, I testify that he has been found worthy. Relying on the help of the Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ, we choose this, our brother, for the order of the diaconate. <laughs> My dear son Michael, our scripture readings tonight give us some insight into the ministry you will be ordained to undertake. In our first reading, the Lord responds to Jeremiah's fears as he faces the challenges God presents to him. In experience, is no barrier. Fear of rejection can be overcome, for the Lord is with you. God gives you the words to speak. God gives you the courage to utter them. In his letter to the Romans, St. Paul tells us that all the necessary gifts for the growth of God's kingdom on earth have been given to the community of believers. And you, my son, are the recipient of the gifts of teaching and ministry through the power of the Holy Spirit, which will be imparted in this ordination. Dear Michael, before you enter the order of diaconate, you must declare before the people your intention to undertake this office. Do you resolve to be consecrated for the church's ministry by the laying on of my hands and the gift of the Holy Spirit? I do. do you resolve to discharge the office of deacon with humble charity in order to assist the priestly order and to benefit the Christian people? I do. do you resolve to hold fast to the mystery of faith with a clear conscience as the apostle urges and to proclaim this faith in word and deed according to the gospel and the church's tradition? I do. You are prepared to embrace the celibate state. Do you resolve to keep forever this commitment as a sign of your dedication to Christ the Lord for the sake of the kingdom of heaven 
in the service of God and man. I do. Do you resolve to maintain and deepen the spirit of prayer that is proper to your way of life and in keeping with this spirit and what is required of you to celebrate faithfully the liturgy of the hours with and for the people of God and indeed for the whole world? And do you resolve to conform your way of life always to the example of Christ, of whose body and blood you are a minister at the altar? I do with the help of God. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. It's a spiritual grind. I think uh, everyone gets gray through prayer and hard work. Um, it's been a journey and I couldn't have done it without the support of, of so many priests and seminary and friends that I've had throughout my life. Lord God, mercifully hear our prayers and graciously accompany with your help what we undertake by virtue of our office. Sanctify by your blessing this man that we present, for in our judgment we believe him worthy to exercise sacred mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. There, I think there is that initial seedbed of faith that everyone has. And just like a seed, it just needs to be nourished and watered and loved. And so the core of my faith that was instilled into me as a child is still there. It's just I've grown to appreciate so much more the faith through learning uh, and, and prayer, especially most of any. We beseech you, Lord, look with favor on this servant of yours who will minister at your holy altar and whom we now humbly dedicate to the office of deacon. Send forth upon him, Lord, we pray, the Holy Spirit, that he may be strengthened by the gift of your sevenfold grace for the faithful carrying out of the work of the ministry. May there abound in him every gospel virtue, unfeigned love, concern for the sick and the poor, unassuming authority, the purity of innocence, and the observance of spiritual discipline. May your commandments shine forth in his conduct so that by the example of his way of life, he may inspire the imitation of your holy people. In offering the witness of a clear conscience, may he remain strong and steadfast in Christ, so that by imitating on earth your Son, who came not to be served but to serve, he may be found worthy to reign in heaven with him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Receive the gospel of Jesus Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Peace be with you. You know, I wouldn't say anxiety. There's a lot of excitement. There's a lot of joy. I'm probably going to uh, sit, you know, have a few tears because uh, it's been so long, but I'm very excited. of a deacon is to serve primarily at the altar and primarily with the people uh, and that's something I very much enjoy doing I'm looking forward to getting to know people and better serve them in whatever way I can let us pray 
Grant, O Lord, to your servant, whom you have replenished with heavenly food and drink, that for the sake of your glory and the salvation of believers, he may be found faithful as a minister of the gospel, of the sacraments, and of charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for a moment. A couple of words of thank you. First of all, thank you to Michael's family for all of the nourishment and, and sustenance and, and support as um, over a long period of time. <laughs> this is probably one of the records for a long formation period. <laughs> but thank you for all your support and for the sharing of faith that offered. Uh, parents, will you please just stand up for a second? Again, let the community see you and say thank you. Lee Michael, we thank you for saying yes to the Lord, uh, as long as it's taken, uh, but you come to say yes. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you so much for your prayers and support. Uh, most people don't know how far they go, but they do, they're felt. And, and I would encourage you to keep praying, not just for me, but for all the other seminarians and those that are considering um, a vocation to the priesthood and religious life. Your prayers work and they matter.